the finance minister, Mr. Ken Furiata, has justified the closure of the seven banks, stressing that the consolidation of these banks has helped in making the banking sector robust to undertake big ticket projects. And moving on, Ghana's public debt moved from 120 billion Ghana CDs in 2016 to 170 billion Ghana CDs as of September 2018. The figure represents 70.1% of GDP as compared to 69.3% in 2017. The latest public debt, one of the highest in recent history, has been triggered by the cost of cleaning up the financial sector. A review of the 2018 financial year points to an improvement in key macroeconomic indicators. Real GDP grew by 5.4% in the first half of 2018 compared to an annual target of 5.6%. Inflation declined from 11.8% at the end of 2017 to 9.8% in September 2018 and 9.5% in October. Despite the sterling performance, Ghana's public debt hit 170.8 billion cities in nominal terms, representing 70.7% .7 of GDP. A former Deputy Finance Minister, Mr. Kizela Tufosin, is worried about this development. It has still gone up, whether you express it in nominal or in real terms. The problem we have is that this government inherited a debt, obviously at 120 billion. The created impression as if the previous administration was wasteful. Yet within one and a half years, almost two years, they've added to the public debt 50 billion Ghana cities, which is almost the entire debt that John Mahama added in four years. Yet they said John Mahama is wasteful. I want to ask this administration what exactly they use the money for. Meanwhile, government is targeting to raise a $3 billion sovereign bond for debt reprofiling. The finance minister, Ken Ophoriata, is confident the new bond will not affect the country's debt position.